Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will discuss multiplication of decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit whole numbers. Multiplication of decimals is somewhat similar to multiplication of whole numbers. Kung marunong kayong mag-multiply ng whole numbers, same lang siya ng process ng pag-multiply ng decimal. Ang pinagkaiba lamang ay yung paglalagay o pag-consider natin sa decimal places, sa number ng decimal places, para alam natin kung saan natin ilalagay yung ating decimal point. Let's look at the square with one side measuring 4.2 cm. So, ito yung example natin. Meron tayo ditong square na ang sukat niya ay 4.2 cm. So, since square siya, ibig sabihin, lahat ng sides niya ay 4.2 cm ang sukat. So, the question here is, can you guess its perimeter? What do you mean by perimeter? So, pag sinabing perimeter, ito yung sum ng mga measurement ng mga sides ng isang polygon. Then, how can you find the perimeter? And how many sides does the square have? What can you say about its sides? So, kung sasagutin natin isa-isa yung mga tanong, so, paano ba, na natin, paano ba natin makukuha ang perimeter ng square? Siyempre, ang gagawin natin, pagsasamasamahin natin yung mga measurement ng sides ng square. O, pwede rin naman natin i-multiply, since square siya, pwede natin i-multiply yung one given side doon sa 4. Kasi 4 ang sides ng Square And how many sides does the square have? So, square has 4 equal sides. What can you say about its sides? Sinabi ko na na equal ang sides ng mga square. Therefore, kung ang square has 4 equal sides and each measures 4.2 cm, we can compute this as 4 times 4.2 or 4 and 2 tenths is equal to m. Here are the steps in multiplying decimal numbers. So, for example, 4 and 2 tenths times 4. So, the first step here is we multiply like the whole numbers and regroup if necessary. Okay, so, para lang tayong nagmumultiply ng whole number, kahit di natin i-align ang mga decimal number and yung ang mga factors, hindi yun mga ka sa ating sagot. So, multiply natin, unahin natin dito sa tenths place ng decimal number and ones place. So, 2 times 4 is 8. Then, multiply 4 times 4. That is 16. So, we now have 168. Okay. So, sinabi ko kanina na we, na we have to consider the decimal places. So, that will be the second step wherein we count the number of decimal places in the factors. So, ilan yung decimal places na nakikita nyo sa ating mga factors? Meron tayong isa, which is 2. Okay, so after natin mabilang kung ilang decimal places meron dun sa mga factors, so proceed na tayo sa step 3 wherein we place the decimal point in the product. So, ito yung product natin. Since meron tayong isang decimal places, count tayo mula sa kanan, isa, then, ilagay natin ang ating decimal point yan, sa tabi ng or sa pagitan ng 6 at 8. The decimal place in the product is equal to the total number of decimal places in the factors. So, our final answer or the final product of 4 and 2 tenths times 4 is 16 and 8 tenths. So, the answer to the problem is... 16 and 8 tenths centimeter is the perimeter of the square. Let's try this activity. Find the product of 4 and 29 hundreds times 12. Okay, so start tayo dito sa 1's digit ng 12. 9 times 2 is 18. Regroup natin ng 1 sa tenths place. Then 2 times 2 is 4. Add natin yung na-regroup natin 1, so 4 plus 1 is 5. 
Then, 4 times 2 is 8. Lagay natin ang ating product na 8. Then, punta naman tayo sa tens place. 9 times 1 is 9. 2 times 1 is 2. And 4 times 1 is 4. Then, add natin yung mga partial products. A. 5 plus 9 is 14. Regroup 1. 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1, 11. Regroup 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Then, how many decimal places? Meron sa mga factors. Merong dalawang decimal places. So, mag-count mag tayo. Start tayo sa right. 1, 2. Then, put the decimal point sa pagitan ng 1 and 4. So, the answer now is 51 and 48 hundredths. Okay, another example. 26 and 43 hundredths multiply by 5. So, 3 times 5 is 15, regroup ang 1. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1. So, 21, regroup ang 2. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2. 32, regroup ang 3. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3. That is 13. Then, count the number of decimal places. Again, we have 2. Then, la Count tayo sa product, 1, 2. Lagay natin ang decimal point sa pagitan ng 2 and 1. So, the answer now is 132 and 15 hundredths. Let's try another example. 10 and 78 hundredths times 13. So, multiply natin lahat ng first factor sa 3. 8 times 3 is 24. Pagrupan 2. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2, that is 23, the group and 2. 0 times 3 is 0, plus 2, that is 2. And 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, next naman, so 1. 8 times 1 is 8. Leave 1 space, ilagay ang product sa ilalim ng 3. 7 times 1 is 7. 0 times 1 is 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. Then, add natin yung dalawang partial products. Bring down 4. 8 plus 3 is 11. Carry 1. So, 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1. That is 10. Carry 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. And bring down 1. Then, para makuha natin or mailagay natin yung ating decimal point, count the decimal places. So, meron tayong 2 decimal places. So, count tayo from the right. 1, 2. Then, put the decimal point sa pagitan ng 0 and 1. So, the final product is 140 and 14 hundredths. Okay. So, let's apply multiplication of decimal numbers to this problem. A chocolate bar weighs 8 and 7 tenths grams. Find the cost and the weight of 115 chocolate bars if each bar costs 30 pesos and 2 centavos. The problem is looking for the cost and weight of the chocolate bars. So, start muna tayong mag sa cost ng chocolate bars. So, we uh, the cost of each chocolate bar is 30 pesos and 2 centavos. Imo-multiply natin siya sa 150 na chocolate bars to get the total cost of the chocolate bars. So, start tayo dito sa digit 5 sa 1's place. 2 times 5 is 10. Regroup 1. 0 times 5 is 0 plus 1. That is 1. 3 times 5 is 15. Then, sa, sa 1 naman tayo. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 times 1 is 0. And 3 times 1 is 3. Another, so 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 0 times 1 is 0, and 3 times 1 is 3. Then, add all the partial products na nakuha natin. So, we will get 34,730. But, hindi pa siya yung ating final product. Dahil, kailangan natin bilangin ang decimal places sa mga factors. How many decimal places? Isa. So, ilalagay natin ngayon ang ating decimal point. Count tayo ng isa, 0, so 1. Then, ilagay natin ang ating decimal point sa pagitan ng 3 at 0. So, the answer now is 3,473.
Then proceed tayo sa weight. So, merong 150 na chocolate bars at ang isang bar ay nag-weigh ng 8 and 7 tenths. So, multiply natin lahat ng 115 sa 7. 5 times 7 is 35. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 3. That is 10. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1. That is 8. Next, sa 8 naman, 5 times 8 is 40. 34. 1 times 8 is 8 plus 4. That is 12. And 1 times 8 is 8 plus 1. That is 9. Then add the partial products. So we will get 10,005. Pero to find the final product, count natin kung ilang decimal places meron ang mga factors. So merong isa, count tayo sa ating final product 1, then ilagay natin ang ating decimal points sa pagitan ng 0 and 5. The answer to the problem is the cost of chocolate bars is 3,473 pesos. And the weight of 115 chocolate bars is 1,005 tenths grams. So here are the important reminders in multiplying decimals. In multiplying decimals using 1 to 2 digit numbers, always remember that the answer should have the same number of decimal places in both Numbers you are multiplying. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.